Now they're all set. Machinist has moved in for the race tech, bletchingly named after one of the great stallions. They're off. Simeon came out of the gate well, going fast is Marble 9 and Recommendation going fast in the centre to join that pair. A length away behind those runners is Mrs. Chrissy, Machinist and Honey Girl beaten for speed two and a half lengths away last. Very proactive out of the gate recommendation, a half in front of Simeon on the fence is Marble 9. Then Mrs. Chrissy, wide out Machinist and a length and a half to Honey Girl as they flash past the 800 metres mark. The odds on favourite recommendation in front in the Bletchingley. Leading a neck on Simeon, a length away is Marble 9. Mrs. Chrissy pushing up. Machinist is still there, two lengths to Honey Girl. Coming towards the bend, they've got 500 metres left to run. Recommendation and Simeon. There's about a neck between them. Simeon's under a bit more pressure. A length and a half to Marble 9 as Shin opens the shackles on the favourite. He stays down near the fence but he's shot clear recommendation. He's over two lengths in front of Marble 9. Mrs Chrissy running on. Recommendations wandering all over the place. Then Simeon. Recommendation still in front. They're not going to get to him. He's going to go the Monash and the Bletchingly back to back at the 70. He's two lengths in front of Marble 9 and Simeon and down to the line recommendation. Two lengths to Simeon. Marble 9 third. Mrs is Chrissy, Machinist and Honey Girl last in. Easy as you like upon reflection. But there were moments there where uh, the heart was in the mouth. Just a touch for Kieran Ma and his team. Look, it wasn't as impressive as it was in the Monash. This was on a heavy track. Wandered around a touch M. But still, the margin will be decisive. It's a good win. It's a good win on a track maybe he didn't enjoy all that much. He wobbled as you said maybe a couple of horses to the inside and the outside uh, giving him a bit of a scare and maybe his footing wasn't all that firm on this heavy deck uh, but he's done the Sir John Monash and the Bletchingley Stakes double uh, that's difficult to do at this time of year yes it was a small field there were still tactics employed here but good ride from Blake Shin to get off the rail and to steer clear in the end um, as you said I mean the last win was a seventh length victory that wasn't as impressive but you know what if you backed him at a dollar 30 well done to you because you get your money back and then a little bit more and for Kieran Mari gets a double at court